colorful light shine reflecting off the wet streets rain in the city yeah man hey I'm in the city come to New York City bringing the work to the east side of America amazing beginning at a beautiful workshop a couple of nights ago and it was amazing New York came out and we had hundred souls gathered together to do some work, right? Make life a little bit better and better for us and better for those around us. It was wonderful and wonderful. All of you that were there, man, you brought it, you brought it in. And it was, uh, for me, it was a great beginning for this movement to the East Coast. And what remains the same? Ah, everything changes, man. Everything changes, but then in some ways, everything seems to remain the same in lots of ways. We are the same, you know, we are this monad, this, uh, this entity that wears different costumes life to life. Monad remains the same. You know, take a look at the costume you got this time around, make the best of it. Man, yeah, it changes. Changes, you become older. You meet yourself in new times, in new reflections. As we like to see our life reflected in lots of ways, and man, the I Ching, it's a great way to feel our reflections. Looking into that mirror, the cosmic mirror, about what's up. And hey, get some direction, because we know we need direction. Nothing wrong with asking. No, nothing wrong with asking for help. That's not weakness. Uh -uh, that's strength. That's risk sometimes, but no growth without risk. So we come to the oracle. The 3,000 year old written down oracle it was originally called the Yi Jing, time of Confucius, Taoist times. And we come to the I Ching. The Qua, the reading, the section for the week of June 10th, 2019. We come to number 52, Jen, bound and coming to stillness. Man, there is magic in that. The hexagrams are doubled, Jen and Jen, one on top of the other. Each means mountain. And these are two mountains standing together in stillness. The wisdom says what was destined has become. Consequences of past actions are now. No longer consider the future. Be here now. Coming into this time of looking inward. Go into meditation, contemplation. You've been giving out a lot lately. You've been thinking it through, been making your ideas come to bear. You've been coming into your creativity. You've been into action and that is good. But now, now it is the correct time to renew because you get tired. We gotta stop. We gotta renew and the simplest form is just coming to be still. Here in this time, contemplate and reflect on recent actions Think about your beginnings. Think about your achievements. Think about when a passing cycle is coming to an end. There's a new one coming. That is the natural order of things. And sometimes this approaching cycle overlaps with the one just going out. So you can be confused. It can seem I should go left. Should I go right? Should I go up? Should I go down? Who am I? Where am I? Well, you're in the same boat as all of us right now, you see? And that's why it's important now, during this time, is to come to stillness. That will dispel the discomfort, the confusion. Questions of right action, loyalty, correct direction, they all come to you in this space, this brief space between lightning and thunder. That's where we live. In stillness, you're going to sort it out. The benefit now will be to embody the Taoist concept of Wu Wei, the action of non-action. Think about it. You will benefit now 
to find in Wu Wei where your quietude is, where you align with this benign movement of the natural world. In this space, you don't rush, you don't negotiate your position, you don't try to control things, don't try to make people do what you want, change, or even your situation. It's not that time. In stillness, you'll open. You'll see this abundant world of beauty and clarity and wonder, and this will feed you. That's what this time will be for you. In right non-action, in doing nothing. Dig it, do nothing. Reaffirm your boundaries and do not move beyond your limits. That's so important. Be still and calm yourself in this way. By adhering to the way, the Tao of non-doing, you will find the strength of the self-confidence that you've desired. Note well, inherent in Wu Wei is the power of the great. This Kua Zhen instructs all to attune themselves with the natural way with the gentle force of Gaia, the loving spirit of our earth herself. In stillness, you will find where you're agitated. Right? You'll see what, what is it that's getting your belly rumbling, you know, making your hands shake. You're going to find where your doubts are. You're going to find where that question is, do I follow my head? Do I follow my heart? It is here that Wu Wei is the elixir. Bring to stillness your practice. It can be a meditative practice or even an active practice. Stillness and non-action does not mean to stop. Okay? Consider the position of the mountain, which at first glance appears to be very quiet, very steady, and it is. But stirring on its surface from a distance you don't see it are the activities of a vast natural and sustainable system arising from deep within the mountain and flowing outward. These are pure waters that feed the natural cycles of growth and rebirth. This is you, you see. If you choose to remain in stillness, being mindful of the depths of your being, mindful that what you think is more powerful than what you do, then you're going to come to some real inner knowing. You see, your thoughts, your words, that's being human. That's your essence, your vibration. This is what affects the frequencies of living. This is why your speech, too, must be retuned. Man, what you say, be correct. The earth is constantly being tuned to a higher beneficial vibration. By being in inner stillness, you are, without effort, raising the conscience for you. You're doing it for your tribe and community as well, you see, because no, you're not alone. In this time of great galactic change, we change personally as well, where you can bind to stillness. This is where love, progress, and peace of mind are. It is a common consciousness, a collective which binds us together as an active part of all in oneness. In stillness and receptivity, we join with the nobility of the galaxies, the galactic teachers who've chosen human channels here on Earth. Many now are given to us to hear, to see, and this is the opportunity where we can make our shift with consciousness. Teachers, sacred elders now are coming to the forefront and they're delivering messages and they must be heard. You may go back and you may read it, you may come, but they're talking around the world. Find them, listen to them, listen to the sacred elders, the grandmothers, the ones who hold the true wisdom. In hearing their words, you're gonna be changed. And with this change, you will tune to your own inner wisdom, which is what we're headed for. Join with your fellow pilgrims on the path to enlightenment and freely talk about what you're feeling now as this shift comes. Be the one to break the ice in conversation, to talk about what is, 
and what is real. You're going to be delighted. You're going to be surprised that your thinking is not as weird as you thought, or it's new age claptrap. It's not. There's a stirring now in all humans. In some, it's causing great inner disturbances, and as many people have long suppressed latent longings that are surfacing. It's coming out with some people in rage and conflict. Well, look, when that you see that, just <laughs> bug out. Remove yourself from these lower vibrations as best you can, physically and certainly mentally. For yourself, inwardly correct any negative self-talk that is a remnant of past experiences. Change the words to positive, it works. If you're in a relationship or a friendship, you do not, do not feel loving re re reception or you feel abuse from that person or from the situation, be compassionate, but man, move on. And go to stillness within yourself. Open to a state of receptivity it's here you're going to receive inner teachings. You're going to find harmonious mates will come your way. Wise teachers will show up. It's all going to come as you come to stillness at every level of life. The Chinese ideograms that form Jen, like I said, are two mountains bound together. This says we're at the end of a cycle, and during this ending, this is where you got to set boundaries. By having these boundaries, you're gonna give way to new ideas and new choices. You're gonna to open to poetry, songs, and creativity, and you're gonna find new companions of destiny, or you're gonna renew with the ones you already have. The earth now is populated with amazing beings who have been integrating with us for many centuries waiting for these moments and times to reveal themselves. They're coming out, talking through the elders. You may, without consciously knowing it, be one yourself. And this is an energy that the people of Earth have not been ready for until now. Pay attention to the elders who are coming out of the woodwork, coming to the forefront with their teachings. They're beginning to be seen, they're beginning to be heard, and this is why we must remain in various forms of quietude to hear the voices that will speak to us. All right, here's a question. How are you going to differentiate the true teachings from the phony, ego-driven messages that have programmed you up to, up to now? Simple. Use your body as a barometer. Now listen up. You will feel what's true and right, and it will feel good. What's not true, it will not. Simple? Very simple. And it's simplicity that makes it powerful. Trust your body. Trust your intuitive body. This wonderful container of the soul is not going to lead you astray. If it doesn't feel good, man, <clears throat> don't go there. If it doesn't taste good, don't eat it. As a collective, we're setting intention for a new golden age. It's coming. A time of plenty and love and harmony. All peoples coming together, and this has to begin with us, with you. As you quiet yourself, as you listen, and you allow the thoughts that you think and the words you speak to be clear, to speak without fear, to be without judgment. In times of stillness is where you find stability and sustainability. It will be beneficial as one cycle comes to an end. Speak to others of the change that you're feeling. This is going to help the people around you. It's going to enliven them and expand your tribe. In this way, you will be found and will identify your companions of your destiny on this road less traveled. Make your home and table a salon of interesting people with new ideas. Have a dinner party, invite people to share your bounty. Bring in people who are not afraid. Gather together now, share what you see, share what you feel. It's all bind together with clarity and with love. Many people in the earth herself will have some upheaval during this time. We see it all around us, but don't fear it. It's a natural order, you see, as an earth cycle is ending. In your stillness, binding together as two mountains side by side, you will be activating your stability. As a result, you will be in tune and know without a doubt the right time to move toward your greater good. 
You're going to move so you will begin to see the noble signs of noble beings, sentient beings that were designed to be with you, to take the walk with you. You see, all, all signs are pointing to this now. The track is set and it's clear before us. In these days, the days of contemplation, days of recognizing the ending of cycles, prepare for this new beginning. Be as pure as possible in your food, in your thoughts, in what you drink and in what you say. Meditate in your own way. Maybe it's a form you've learned and practiced, or simply go to a place of peace within, or go to an actual place, a place where you find great peace, and be still and listen. It's not something to do later, you know, when you have the time, oh, I'm going to meditate when i got the time. That's not it. It's now. Set the bar high. Be an example. Be a beacon for all to see, for all to feel. Clear your mind. Meditate on love and compassion. And let these ideas of new ways begin to flow through you. Discuss with friends and associates these new ways of being. Keep your thoughts during this time within the boundaries of this change that is occurring when you see and wish for yourself and for all sentient, sent, sentient beings on earth. You see that we are one people on this earth. We're many tribes, but one people. Reach across lines to your fellow pilgrims on the road remembering who we are as individuals and as people who can join together in light and love. It is possible and it's happening, but it can happen without you doing it, stepping up. We can all be an active part in these great changes. Participate. Don't lay back, right? It is Wu Wei. It is doing nothing, but watch how you do nothing in participation. I know. Seems a little juxtaposed, but it works. Live to your fullest capacity. If you hear judgment in the inner voice and criticism in your old pattern thoughts or, or your old words, discard, replace them with noble thoughts. If you, in a situation or with a person where you feel a pull not to be kind, not to be compassionate, not to be the generous person you intrinsically are, remove yourself from that person or that situation that's activating this pattern and change this inner dialogue to positive loving thoughts and that's what we're here to do be clear be dignified be compassionate be kind first be kind to yourself just for a minute think right now what are you going to do to be kind to yourself not today but in the next hour what are you going to do to be good to be kind and then take and show that kindness to others you see, these words of kindness, integrity, compassion, dignity comprise the magical elixir that feeds positive change, and this elixir will smooth the way. In your stillness you will teach, in your stillness you will learn, in your stillness you will be found. Quit looking. Be still. Let yourself be found. Each day do actions of merit. In that action you honor all. Yeah, come to your stillness, come to that time of extreme inner knowing and inner peace. A lot's happening now in the world. Become a part of it. But consider how important this time of stillness is for you. Have a beautiful week. In La Kesha Lakin, I am the other you. And you know, I like it that way. Yes, I do. Namaste, my brothers. Hey, brothers. Be gentlemen, we uh, might talk about that. Be gentlemen. Clear the way for yourself and clear the way for the goddess that stands with you. If she's there, man, make it good, make it comfortable. And namaste, my sisters, let it in. Let yourself be loved. Men just don't know how to do it. Sometimes you gotta teach them. It's true. 
but contemplate all this this week in stillness. And I say again, in la quecha la king, I am the other you. Enjoy this loving soul journey.